Okay, I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to set up a MySQL database in your hosting account if you're using cPanel hosting. Now, the procedure for doing this is pretty much the same in any type of hosting account. What you're going to want to do is scroll down and you're going to want to find the uh, link that says MySQL databases and click that. And now we're going to create a database name. I'm just going to call mine demo and then click on the create database button. Okay, that database was created so I'm going to go back and then now we need to create a user for this database. So I'm going to scroll down here. Hopefully you can see this to the create user section. And I'm going to create a user called demo as well. Give it a password of 12345. I recommend you use something a little stronger than that for your database, but that's just for demo purposes. And then we're going to click on create user. Now, as you can see here, it shows that the uh, user demo was created with password 12345. I'm going to click on go back and there's one more step that we still need to do. Need to scroll to the bottom of this page and you'll see this section down here where you can add a user to a database. Now both the user and the database name were demo so I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to add user demo to the database demo and click on add. And now on this confirmation page you see you want to assign all privileges to this user and then click on make changes and then you get the little confirmation here that the uh, user was added to the database uh, successfully and that's all there is to it. You want to copy this information here that's your database username and your database name and you also want to remember the password that you created um, when you set up the database user. Now one other thing that the uh, funnel tracker software is going to ask for is your host name and for most web hosts that's just going to be localhost l-o-c-a-l-h-o-s-t all one word if it's not that it's probably an IP address and if you have any doubt try local uh, local host first and if that doesn't work for you just ask your web host and they can give you that information but uh, ninety percent of the time it's going to be local host anyway that's how you set up a mysql database within cpanel and i hope you enjoyed this video